Janice Winward here from Midnight Arts. I'm going to do a uh, feather pull. It's another uh, Christmas gift. I don't want a lot of paint under it. I, I toyed with the idea of just doing the feather pull on the dry canvas without any back, any uh, wet background on it. Um, I just don't know how well that will work. So I think I'll put just a little bit of uh, paint on it, maybe just a very light uh, little bit of, of wet paint. Um, just to give it something to pull through. I don't know how that will, how it will work at all. Um, Yeah, it doesn't look like that's a very good idea. <laughs> Uh, with this small amount of uh, paint on it to pull it through. I don't know, it might start drying before I can even get the um, get the feathers on there, which I don't really want. This canvas has been uh, covered with just a little bit of uh, the dried paint on it is is black gesso. That I put on it quite a while ago. Oh, well, I can't remember why they said <laughs> sometimes you get that section on there. Not enough paint. <laughs> that might be it. So I did not put very much paint on there. Okay. So it's just a little bit of wet paint on there, and uh, I'm going to do my string pull over here. I don't know if that's the color I wanted to use there. I'm not even telling you. This is turquoise, apple barrel turquoise. Um, this is uh, folk art aqua. This is this wonderful deco art extreme sheen metallic sapphire. That is almost empty there. This one is ice blue. Now usually when I do um, feather pulls, one thing I usually do it with a string. Uh, the other thing is I uh, usually um, put the string down with two ends on it and pull it. I'm going to try to do it with just um, one side. Uh, one side at a time. So, I don't know how that will work, but I'm going to try it. And, I, and, in, and in my mind, it's so funny, I have such a hard time uh, figuring out, now let's see, which way is the top of the feather? Which way is the stem of the feather? <laughs> so, sorry if I, if I get confused and do my feathers upside down or something, I don't know. Okay, I think when you do it this way, you're actually pulling from the stem. So let's start it like up here. Go down and then we want to pull it this way I believe.
Well, that just kind of looks like a little mess. Doesn't look like a feather. Okay, let's try that again. Put it down here. Oh, oh, oh. Well, maybe it would work better with a string than the chain. And I'm sure it would work better with whoops, more um, paint on the canvas. <laughs> to begin with. This one doesn't have a whole lot of paint on it, so it might um, dry quick enough that tomorrow night I can paint over it. I do because that is a mess. Um, I guess it needs a little bit more um, paint on the canvas. Maybe more paint on the chain. I don't know. Just try it with a string. See if the string does any better. I'll probably end up with just a bloody mess. Here's my stick. from both sides at the same time. problem. I don't like the, the tips the way I do them. So. I always end up with these awful looking tips. The end of the feather. I have a shoulder that's been hurting me and holding this string up so high is really causing it to ache. <laughs>
touch in there. Can't tell if it's touching because my finger, finger on my glove is so big. string is doing better other than it's getting really muddied right here in the middle and I still have that third feather to put in there. My pants do have a little bit of a, what is this called, coconut milk in them. So I sh there should be some cells on this. I know that that's not something that most people want in their feathers or their string poles, but um, I do pretty much. I do put it in all of my paints when I'm mixing them. I'm never satisfied with the tips. I just can't quite get the hang of pulling them up quite right. I guess because um, I think feather tips are pretty much go to a point and of course mine always have that little circle on the end there which I don't really like. Swiping all the paint off. I don't need to swipe all the paint off. <laughs> Not okay up there, but it's just way too thin down this area. If it had more paint on it, <laughs> it would fill in those places that I'm stabbing it. But there's not enough paint to do that. Okay. So let's see. Let's take. I think that this one's not going to make it to the gift bin. It's probably going to end up pouring over it maybe tomorrow night. Let's see if I can get it to dry. And I have people who live here with me. <laughs> I will be asking their opinion. sooner. So it gets too narrow at the end. It's fat down here. It gets too narrow at the end. If I just went the fat part and then picked it up, maybe. I don't know. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty much thinking. <laughs> I 
keep working on it. <laughs> I keep thinking, this is not what I wanted. And I messed up this side on this one, even worse. <laughs> but I just keep working on it. So, I don't know why. Uh, I think that one's a no-go. We'll probably pour over it and try it again tomorrow. So anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. And please join me again soon. And most of all, please have a great night. <laughs>